Hey, this video is gonna be a little bit more technical, but on the Shopify app topic, I will be talking about submission of the Shopify app and how does this process look like. I'm not a developer, so not everything I talk about, like I, I really understand how it works, but um, finally I got the app ready and I'm going to share the final submission steps. It's uh, the second time that I'm submitting the Shopify app and previously I got some errors with this process. And today I'm gonna just show how the submission actually works and uh, what we would expect next from Shopify and when are we going to hope for the app to get live. So first of all that you need to do is uh, you need to register with Shopify par partners as a developer if we're talking about the initial setup and right now since uh, August 2021 I think uh, it costs $99 to actually get your like membership to be able to develop apps for Shopify this is a change from what they had previously with the setup and the payments so previously it was free to register on Shopify and uh, then you would pay a 20% commission while now you pay $99 to like get your membership with Shopify, but then you don't uh, pay any commission on your app revenue up until $1 million per year of Shopify revenue, which which is actually something that is not, not too crazy as you can see from the video that um, we made on like what kind of apps and what kind of revenues uh, are there from Shopify. So once you sign up, you, um, you would get into the Shopify partners account and uh, this is where, what we're going to be looking at right now. So if we go to the apps section, we see uh, all the apps that we have that you have in your account and those are uh, that those can be not submitted apps, those, those can be test versions, local versions, any apps that, that you would have. And um, basically you can see the overall status of, of those and actually the banner that the 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 app that i'm about to submit is the one that has an api health issue um, this is one of the things that you actually need to look after uh, when preparing the app to submit and i still have up almost a year like around nine months to to fix this issue so this is actually not not a huge problem um, so the problem is that um, I'm using a to be deprecated API version of Shopify. So uh, I am actually switching to version 2022.10 um, and the version I'm using is 2022.4. So the April version of the um, API, which is being updated right now. So it's not urgent. It doesn't affect anything as of right now. So we can actually safely submit the app um, as it is right now. So I'm going to go into the actual public app that we will be submitting and um, you're seeing the main page of the app where uh, you see the API keys. Those are the ones that you would need to work with uh, like for the connection to Shopify. And if we go to the app setup on the left side, this is where the initial interesting part happens. So um, you need to put in an app name an API contact email and this can be like the same email that you use for all your developer accounts um, that you would have. Um, then the main part is actually the URLs. So this is where, where the app is actually located. Uh, I'm having an embedded app, which is the one that shows within Shopify interface and it's loaded from a URL. And then it needs an allowed redirection URL, which is used for authentication of the app. Um, then we're adding an app icon um, you can do all the testing like beforehand without it, but you need to actually submit it. Then we have some settings on the permissions. So to read or access some of the types of data that, that you may need. If you actually uh, use those, you would, you, would need that. You, you would need that and you would select that. So I'm not actually using any of those. Then there are like the event version, which is exactly the API version that I, I, I was using. And then what is important is the GDPR mandatory webhooks. This depends a little bit on what type of the app you, you have. So the first is the customer data request endpoint is it has to be a URL that Shopify would send a request to if the customer requests the data from the store. So whenever the, the customer asks the store to share what data the store collects about them, the, the store and Shopify would actually ask all the apps that are installed with the store what kind of data there is for the customer. The option for that 
which is available to the end customer is just to ask to delete all the data. Uh, I'm not using those because I'm not processing any customer data. So basically our app just uh, shows the manners and does not affect any orders or customer personal data. But then the shop itself can ask to remove all the data that there is. So whenever you create uh, like the regular app, uh, Shopify app, whenever uh, the shop uninstalls the, the app, you could soft delete it from the database, which is what typically is being done. Uh, soft deleting is when you don't actually remove the data, but you just mark that this shop deleted the app and this shop does not have access to the app anymore. And that's kind of it. Uh, but uh, this is a required option that, that you have to have for the app. Like uh, if a Shopify store requests to delete the data, this URL would be called uh, and, and your app have to actually respond to this information. So it actually has to respond and delete the data of the shop. Um, if this webhook is not available, that would be a problem for the submission process. Then you have a few other options uh, and the app credentials, which are the, uh, the, the keys. And that's pretty much it that you actually need to care about. So if we go back to the overview section, we can go to managing listing. List, managing listing is the actual page that you would have your app available on uh, publicly. And this is something that you would need to fill in to, to make sure that, that your app is clear what people are going to be getting. The interesting part is that when we're going here right now, we can actually see the four issues that I had with the Shopify app before. Uh, so this is this comes from my previous submission and the issues that we were having. First one is um, uh, setting up the content security policy header of your response within the app. So you can just Google what that is. It's it's kind of like for me, it's a little bit hard to to explain what um, how how that works, but. In simple terms, that means that your app should not be allowed to be loaded within any other page than the page of the store that it was installed on. So if some third party random page tries to load your app in an iframe, it shouldn't work thanks to this header. So I, di I didn't have it, but um, yeah, the proper setup through the, through the library that I'm using uh, like the PHP library that actually got it sorted out and that, that works. I haven't, uh, had the GDPR webhooks, which I do have now. The third one is super simple. I just didn't have the developer phone number, um, in the account, which I just put in. And, uh, the last one is, um, is about the redacting data. So this is something that I didn't have so then uh, we can go and um, so we can actually preview the current listing so this is what what we have and we can edit it so when editing the listing we have the app name the icon the languages which i think this is actually new because i don't remember setting it up previously so we have the languages app introduction this is interesting because the last app submission that i had was a few months ago and um, this was not here, I think. Yeah, you can see that there is actually some data, but it's not, uh, not everything is filled in. So basically whatever I had, uh, that, that is not there right now. What you need to, to do here is actually just go through all the text, available text fields and just fill them in. And um, at the bottom, this is something that you need to prepare in advance is uh, the privacy policy URL, which is, non-optional that that is required. So you need to have a privacy policy that you upload somewhere. You just need to have a URL with that. So I think even a notion, a notion doc with a public URL would work for that. You, you just need to have a privacy policy available somewhere. And let's say like this page, uh, I actually have it on my own domain, which does not have any, any styling or anything. It's very basic and it's, uh, it's just there. So what you need to do is um, put it out there. If you don't know what to write, you can actually just Google privacy policy for Shopify apps because there are samples of uh, what is there and you just go and edit them to make sure that you put only those things that are relevant for your app and just remove those that are not. We're not actually managing 
customer data, for example. So we're managing only the shop owner data who is just registering with the app when, when they sign up. So after you fill in all the details, uh, what you can actually do is just um, see the preview of how it works. So uh, you get a few uh, screenshots, you get some descriptions, you see that at the bottom you would have the reviews and that's it. So like as soon as you fill in all this data, you just hit submit button and you get an email saying that the app is uh, submitted and it will take about a week to review that. Um, as soon as this happens, Shopify actually runs all the automated tests on the app to make sure that like these content security policy topics are working correctly, um, that everything that technically should be fine about the app works correctly. And if, if anything is wrong, you would actually get a response within one to two days maybe and you would get a list of things to fix. If everything technically works correctly, then there would be a personal manual test. So where someone would actually install your app and go through that. And you may have to respond to some feedback from Shopify team directly um, if they would have it. And if everything is fine, your app should go live and you should, you should get your first installs of the app. And um, if the goal is to get distribution from the Shopify store, um, then the target would be to work on the reviews to make sure that your app gets good ones. Uh, that will help the Shopify SEO um, in this space to, to actually grow. So I'm not going to go through writing out all the fields because this is actually all that you need to do. And then you click submit the app and that uh, gets your app going. This is it for now. The next uh, update would be on if there's any new issues that we need to fix. Uh, and uh, if not, then we would be working on some new project. See ya.